Well, I'm, I'm glad we caught you at a lunch break here, because otherwise your table's so busy it's hard to get in here. That's okay. That's okay. I don't need to eat anywhere. I'm trying to get down to my original weight. Eight pounds, six ounces. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm having a tough time. Let me know how that goes for you. <laughs> okay. okay. So, one of the things I loved about your show, and one of the things that I'm trying to bring back, kind of unsuccessfully in Hollywood, right now, is the family programming. And the fact, because you were really breaking ground with that, the fact that it was so family oriented. Well, you know, kind of like hero of mine was Patrick Frawley, the guy that invented the big ballpoint pen and owned Schick Razors. And he bought Sun Classic Films to do family entertainment. And they'd made Grizzly Adams once before with another actor. And he didn't like that. And I was in Canada doing a movie called The Snow Tigers with Stuart Raffle, the guy that did The Wilderness Family and Across the Great Divide. And we did this movie called The Snow Tigers. And I was an animal trainer and a stunt guy at the time. And I was up there in Banff, Canada, catching an 800-pound Siberian tiger off a horseback. And the tiger leaped out front of the net and grabbed my horse and went upside down on this frozen lake. And when the footage got back to Hollywood, Mr. Frawley was looking at that footage and he said, now that guy could be Grizzly Adams. Let's get him and bring him down here. So I came back from Canada and he said, we've made Grizzly Adams once before with another actor and I'm not really crazy about it. How would you like to do this movie? And I said, sure. And he said, well, we only have $180,000 left in the budget. What do you think you can do with that? And I said, well, I said, I can get you know, the camera guys. We can go up to Park City, Utah. And I got the bears and I've got So wait a minute, he's not only casting you, but he's wanting you to put together the whole production. Yeah, we, seven of us went to Park City, Utah and redid Grizzly Adams for 185,000 bucks, the whole thing. And it's the second lowest, highest grossing independent film of all time. Grossed over 485 million bucks. The bear made five grand, I made three grand, but <laughs> she was a better actor. And everybody's going, what's that bear like working with a bear? And I said, well, Ben was really a Benette. She played the part of a male, but she was really a female. Lassie now, why was was, what, what was the reason for that? They didn't want me living in the woods with a female bear. And I'm going, wait a minute, man. This is a kid's show. Come on, let's be comfortable with this. I said, when the kids grow up, they'll find out I'm living with a transvestite bear. That's going to be horrible. But it worked out all right. And when they did the four-walling, that was the first little show that they ever four-walled. That Mr. Frawley was a smart guy. Oh, so that was before Billy Jack? Yeah, yeah, he was a four-walling guy. And NBC saw that there was a lot of, you know, like, excitement about it. So we did Frontier Fremont, and then they said, we'd like to buy it as a series. So NBC bought it as a series, and it did real well. And now Kokorian owned the rights to it after they sold Sun, and then Kokorian sold it to uh, Ted Turner. Ted Turner sold it to Paramount. And I found out yesterday that they're getting the rights back. So we're going to Alaska to do a movie called Mountain Man Christmas and a grizzly out of the ones called The Legend. So maybe somewhere along the line, we might get some family entertainment back here for everybody, like he did and like I did. And without good young kids, we're not going to have strong, healthy adults. So let's keep our fingers crossed and say our prayers. And maybe the networks will take a look at it and we'll see what we can do. Oh, that's fabulous. That is excellent. So was this your bear? Well, actually, I belong to the bear. I mean, the bear made more money than I did. <laughs> and people go, what was it like working with the bear? And I say, well, it was a lot like being married. Any woman that was born with teeth, teeth and claws, you got to know when to shut up and back up. So we got along very, very well. But we have an animal park in Grants Pass, Oregon, called Wildlife Images. So if you and your family are out on the highway and you want to go see bears and lions and tigers, pull into Grants Pass and look for wildlife images on the Internet. Stop by and say, Dan said to come by and say hi, and we'll be looking for you. Oh, that's fabulous. Well, thank you. Well, you know, I only worked with a small bear cub, but that was enough. I mean, uh, <laughs> they were just full of muscle, and as any wild animal, you're never sure exactly what they're going to do. They're powerful. When you're born, a lion and a bear or a giraffe, that's what you're put here to be, and you always got to be careful. I mean, you know, when a grizzly bear is born, it weighs less than an ounce, 28 grams with no fur on it, and when they come out of the den at the end of three months, they got this rolling little bundle of fur and claws and teeth, and they are just incredible. And they gain anywhere from two to three pounds a day. You can just watch them breathe and grow. And I've got a bear at home named Big Mac, and he's nine feet, six inches tall, and weighs 1,100 pounds. And you've got big shoulders, and your shoulders will fit in between his ears. So 
he chased me off a 90-foot cliff one day. He thought I was going out with his wife. I said, man, we're just working together. <laughs> Lighten up on me. But everything seemed to be okay. Well, Dan, thank you. I, I love your love of animals and oh. show and, and family, and I just I think you're a great guy. You're a great-looking kid. You grew up to be a handsome man. Thank oh. you for coming by. Thank you, thank Dan. You. We'll God see you later. You. Thank you very much, folks. God bless you.